Here we go. Hello everyone, Faintly Sainly here, and I'm back in a new game, The Break-In. When I say a new game, it's new to this channel. It's been in development for a little while, and I've uh, played it quite a bit so far. Um, it's another little indie game. I think there's only one dev named Oliver, and uh, he's doing a pretty good job. So basically, the, the name implies it, The Break-In. What we're doing here is uh, stealing. We break into homes, businesses, meet objectives, earn money, buy tools, buy getaway vehicles, buy cosmetics, right? Uh, it's pretty much as simple as that. So over here you choose what tools you want to start the mission with. So things like lockpick, spanner or wrench, hammer, you bring them along with you. Um, you do get other things like little uh, headlights, little torches. There's also a swag bag which is useful to have but depending on the getaway vehicle you have, you're limited to how many slots you can take with you. So lockpick's obviously good for opening doors. Spanner or wrench is good for removing things like security cameras. And hammers are good for breaking windows, knocking out people, and uh, knocking down doors, I believe. So they've all got their uses. These are really good for picking up lots of little things at once, and I would usually take one with me. In fact, I might. I might actually unequip the hammer. And I think I would always rather equip a swag bag as well. Okay, so we've got our vehicle. Now these are all limited by weight and driver cut, as in the getaway vehicle driver will take a cut of anything you steal. Um, so the bigger vehicles, obviously there's a bigger cut, but you can steal bigger things. And these are the Intel teams, all right? And each team, such as Kev or Tony's or Harrier Heist Corp, uh, they all have different missions that you can do. We're going to start with Kevin Mates because they're the basic missions and they take the lowest cut. But obviously then there's less money to be made as well. So as you can see here, we've got three different houses. And uh, you'll see there's an actually difficulty and profit rating. These are all actually extremely difficult by chance. These are all just randomly rolled with different objectives and different difficulties. I'm going to roll again just to be able to show a more simple uh, mission basically. This one's typical. We need to steal a marked small item, so there will be an item in this house that we have to steal for this bonus, but anything else we steal is just extra. And it's a single story bungalow with an accessible roof. Watch out for residents. With two and a half stars here, we assume there's gonna be at least one or two people around, probably a handful of security cameras as well. Um, but that's okay, we're up to the challenge, I think. So we're gonna choose that mission. I'm gonna come over here. I've got our getaway car here, and we're ready to go. So we click ready, and it'll drop us into the street. Okay, and here we are in our getaway vehicle. Our getaway tools that we've chosen would basically just spawn in with us. And we just want to put that right on our belt here. Done. Now, this is the house we're robbing. Um, as you can see, we need to steal a garden chair. <laughs> and if you have a look, that glowing chair right there, that's the mission okay it is random sometimes you get funny things like that where i could just literally walk in grab the chair walk out and be done but that would be boring so you might do a little exploring as well so as you can see up there there is a security camera so i'm going to try and run around it while it's not looking try not to make too much noise and i'm going to jump and dismantle it okay so that's that we can actually steal this as well for a few dollars, so I'm just going to pop that in my getaway car. So one thing I typically do is I go around the perimeter of the house first thing, get an idea of any open windows, where the residents might be, or other security cameras like this one. And one thing you can do is actually climb up onto the roof. And that can help you reach these a bit easier. So again, just going to knock that one off. I'm just going to put this one in my swag bag done so just having a look I'm not seeing any more cameras yet somebody has uh, been having a delicious barbecue okay an open window is a good sign that means we might have some easy entry and you can hear the snoring I don't know if you can hear that but there's someone sleeping in the next room with my lock pick this is a lock door but I could pick this lock Easy as that, and this should just swing open now. 
Okay. So they keep coming around here. No cameras, that's good. Oh, there is one there actually. We'll jump up here. Yep. Stay on the roof, not fall off the roof. Grab that, dismantle it. And pop that in the bag. That might be it. So the other thing to note is that there is an attic window. And I'm just gonna climb in here. So the attic's usually pretty safe from prying eyes. No one's gonna see us up here, but we can still make noise which might alert people. Um, there's a few little bits and pieces you can usually steal. Sometimes there's valuable files or things up here. One thing I did notice was, amongst all this junk, a safe. So I could theoretically throw the safe at this window, or I could drop it into the house and drag it out that way. The safe is quite heavy compared to some of the things, so it is a little bit fiddly. So hopefully we can still get this to the window. And again, this isn't the mission, but the safe is worth, you know, a little bit of money, obviously. So if we get away with that as well, that's just a bonus. But, um, yeah, no fall damage, obviously. I'll just launch myself out that window. No worries. It's not exactly a realistic simulator. It's just a bit arcadey, a good bit of fun as well. Oh, knocked over the dog kennel. So you do have a sound meter on your watch here, this little speaker icon. And uh, that'll tell you if you're jumping, see that, or breaking glass or breaking other items. You do make noise and that can alert residents, so you do have to be a bit mindful of that. Alright, just to avoid any mishaps, this is the chair we need to steal. For some reason someone <laughs> really wanted this particular plastic garden chair, that's fine. And it's ticked off now. So one thing I just want to do is check in here. Did I lose my spanner? Oh, there it is. Um, I just want to see if there's any valuables floating around inside the doorway. As I said, sometimes you do get valuable files or books. I'm going to steal the phone, it's nice and easy, I can just put that straight in the bag, same as these headphones. So little items you can just pop straight in there. There's not much else going here, looks like it's a pretty... I don't think these people have the kitchen, this is usually the kitchen room. Um, but it's a pretty basic house, there's crap all over the floor. And nothing in the bathroom, sometimes they have a TV in front of a bath or something if they're living a luxurious lifestyle. I'm just going to very quietly... Was that bear there before? Maybe I'm blind, but that, <laughs> that's a little bit freaky. Um, okay, so he's sleeping in that bed. Here's a projector screen, a video game console, another mobile phone. Oh, okay, he's awake, so I'm just going to run away. I don't think they have a window in that room, is that right? That's a pretty awkward little room. But generally if they spot you or hear you, they'll get up, have a look around, and then he's already put himself back to bed, he's not too concerned. But there's not much in there worth stealing, and we've already met the objective with a couple of bonus items. So I'm just going to chuck that in there. Oh, now there's a getaway button here somewhere on the roof. There we go. Start the countdown to get away. Check your watch. Three, two, one. And we're gone. So that's the gist of a simple mission. As you can see here, there's a little bit of a summary of what we've stolen. There's that safe, $2,000, which will probably be the most valuable thing I got. Security cameras, cheap phones, cheap headset. But the important thing is we've got the garden chair worth $2, which somebody wanted to pay $3,400 for. So that's great. So minus the cut for the Intel team, which gave us the mission over here. Minus a cut for the getaway driver, right? This is what we're left with, 5000 Not bad for an early mission. Uh, obviously, if you've played for a little while and done the higher-end missions, that's how much money I have. So $5,000, not too exciting, but early game that helps you buy tools, helps you buy getaway vehicles, so it all is still worth something. Now this one is a rare mission. It's a little bit on the easy side, but this is a mansion. And I don't think this was there from the start. This was 
added in an update at some point. Um, so I might just give that a try just to have a look at it. So similar idea, it's just a house, there's residents, there's security cameras, people walking around doing things, but this time it's a mansion. So start again in the getaway vehicle, I'm just going to pick up my gear, clip that to my belt and in I go. So it was only a relatively low difficulty mission, so we shouldn't see too many like patrolling people or residents or security cameras. Um, I actually can't see a security camera yet on this whole front end of the house. And there is a convenient open window up there and there. So, you know, getting in shouldn't be too hard. One thing I did note is this is a little valuable in this hedge maze. So I'm just going to come in here and grab this. It looks just like a stone, but I'm pretty sure this is like a suspicious gem or something like that. So just going to chuck that over the fence and we'll pick that up on the way out. What is my mission? That's one thing I forgot to check is what my mission was. I need to steal $4,144 worth of valuables. Actually, I can show you if I put this straight into the car. Little progress bar there it tells me that's worth about $1,000 or so. So we're a quarter of the way there. So let's have a look around. So there is a little basement space down there. You can see those little windows. Um, it is quite a large house. Obviously two stories, multiple bedrooms. If I had a bigger getaway vehicle, I could theoretically steal a car. Oh, there's a resident right there. You see this little lounge room. Chilling with his purple beard. What's he clapping at? Is he watching TV or something? That's fine, we'll let him go. This door, I'm going to just kind of unlock it. Not necessarily to use it, because there is somebody in there, potentially. I just want to... just think I just need to make a run for it or something like that. That's an, an unlocked option for me. Okay, okay, security camera right there. We don't want to mess with that. And this is the creepy basement. Creepy because why are there beds down here for a start? Somebody's sitting out here watching videos. Um, just want to be careful because sometimes people do hang out in here. Uh, what is what else is creepy? Okay, we have a <laughs> jar with a skull in it. Um, why not? Also, this chair in front of a broken mirror. Can I steal this? I can. There are some valuables in here, for example, a motorbike, often worth a few dollars. That leads up to the house. Then an air compressor. And gym equipment. I'm just going to pop my head out here and see if there's a camera on this side of the house. It doesn't appear to be. I might grab the bike. It's a little bit heavy, so it'll be a slow little drag. But as long as no one comes out and catches me, I should be okay. Now, <laughs> you'll see there, there is a helipad on in the yard. And, uh, you know, spoiler warning if you're going to play this game. That is potentially a secret getaway vehicle. So when you steal the helicopter, and of course you need the getaway vehicle that can carry it, uh, that unlocks a new getaway vehicle in a helicopter, which means you can carry potentially more stuff. They're not always the best compared to other things you can buy, but they are pretty cool. So there are a couple of uh, secrets like that, which aren't blatantly advertised so it's worth stealing all sorts of different things just to see what you get for it and what you can unlock so just slowly creeping this back out to the car and once we get that in we'll see how much 
left we have to steal. And we could theoretically go through the house and clear it out if we wanted to. Or we can just meet the goal and get out. Now the challenging part sometimes is getting heavier items into the car, but the good news is you don't need to always get them right in. Whoop. Physics can be a little bit uh, bouncy. <laughs> Get in. So yeah, sometimes you can just lean it in, as long as it's sort of over the bounds of the car, like so. I've met my goal, okay? Because that's con considered in for uh, the intents of taking it away. But what I will do... Oh, there, ooh, there is a camera right there. I need to be wary of that. Might be safer if I just try and get that before it goes off. There we go. Just let ourselves in. So remember, there was a resident in that room earlier. Steal the phone. The other thing to be wary of as well is uh, see this door. This one's locked with a normal lock. This one has a little key code or a keypad. So there will be an A card somewhere that I can use to unlock that door. I'm just going to have a quick wander around, see if there's any other residents here. This is a bedroom, yep. Not much happening. There's a little treasure chest there which could be valuable. There's a bust. And some files. Now the files can be good because these can often be valuable, you know, state secrets or something like that, which is worth a bit of money. How heavy are these? Not too bad. What about this? Not too bad at all. So what I might do, I'd love to be able to chuck them out that window, but that'll make too much noise. I'm just going to drag these out and get a few extra dollars for them. Hope that nobody uh, comes out and catches me. So there is an attic up there as well. Might have some goodies in it. And uh, yeah, so every time you play, this is like the base mansion map. So every time you play a mansion, you're coming to the same mansion. But what changes is the residents, their behaviors and patterns. Some might be down at the gym and spend the whole mission down in the basement. Others might be just wandering around the house or going to the kitchen. Um, security cameras are in different places every time. The loot you find and the room layouts are different every time. So you are already playing the same base map, but usually it's a unique experience. You can't just memorize where everything is going to be every single time. So uh, yeah, there is a little bit of replayability in that sense. So I'm just gonna pop this stuff in here jump up and that'll do get away decent little haul wasn't too hard and let's see how we did so here's you know spent a bit more money than last time the bike was worth 9,000 treasure chest 1500 the crystal 1200 the bus 2500 phone and documents so you know had a decent amount Intel team took their can't get away driver takes his percentage and we're left with seventeen thousand dollars. So it's as simple as that. It's a pretty uh, pretty fun little game. The best part about it is obviously playing with friends. There is multiplayer. Um, and just running around the house just <laughs> playing around with friends is actually really cool. Um, however, still pretty fun on your own as well. So as you can see here, this Intel team they give us access to missions in a uh, mechanics workshop and in a mall right so there's um different levels of security and this one has a number of shops and things like that as well uh, this one has a marked item to steal so that could theoretically be difficult because the item could be anywhere in in the uh, whole mall so yeah and obviously there's higher level missions here but i won't go into that because uh, if you're looking to play for yourself you might enjoy the surprise 
So yeah, I might leave it at that actually. Um, if you'd like to see more of this game, let me know. Happy to go through. As I said, you know, I've played this quite a bit with myself and some friends, so I'm pretty familiar with most of the maps and, and how to find things. So if there's anything specific you want to know about it, or if you want to see a certain map or different getaway vehicles or anything at all, let me know. More than happy to cover this a bit more, and I might do, just because it's good fun. So thanks for watching. I'm Faintly Saintly. If you like this and want to see more, please subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section below if there's anything you want to see me do, including other games or more of the same games. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you.